David Bain's murder retrial has been told the accused's father was showing signs of depression in the months before the family was killed. The defence argues it wasn't David Bain, but his father who was responsible for all five deaths. Reporter Vicky Wilkinson-Baker is covering the trial at the High Court in Christchurch. She joins us now. Vicky. Well, the first defence witnesses gave evidence today. Now, these were people who knew Robin Bain, school principals and people who worked for the Ministry of Education. Now, they told the court about how they were concerned for him, that he seemed to be struggling to cope, seemed depressed, and how they thought he was losing control. David Bain turning up for day 42. His chance to prove his father was the killer, not him. The defence quick to show Robin Bain was under pressure at work. He wasn't motivated. He, he seemed to have lost a lot of interest. He taught at a small country school near Dunedin, an enthusiastic and inspiring teacher in the early days. But in the months before the murders, the witnesses say that changed. He looked very gaunt and very tired, completely different from the person I first knew. He wasn't dressing like a, a professional colleague. We certainly noticed him at the May meeting, yeah. but that was the first time he was a wee bit smelly at that meeting. The local principals association was worried. I was very concerned and we all were. He somehow lost confidence or courage. Apparently frustrated at not getting a promotion to another school. He looked so woebegone and bedraggled, I thought, oh heavens. After the murders, witnesses described the school as shambolic. Piles and piles. There was mail high as anything. It was on the table, it was on the chairs, it was underneath chairs, stuff stacked in corners. It was unbelievable. They were critical of Robin Bain for publishing a newsletter just days before the murders with three violent stories from children. One involved killing five family members. There are three that would never have ever been published anywhere if it had been my school. A psychologist helping out after the killing says he discovered Robin Bain had hit two of the children. It was a, a relatively minor thing, but it reflected, I thought, that he was under a lot of stress and strain at that time. So much stress at work and home, the defence says it drove Robin Bain intention. to kill his family and turn the weapon on himself. OK, Vicky, do we know who will be in the witness box tomorrow? No, we don't know for sure yet, Wendy, but it's likely to be some friends of David Bain's. This week, uh, we're probably going to hear more about the Bain family, their background and their problems. Next week, we'll be back into the forensic and scientific evidence. Thank you, Vicky. Vicky Wilkinson-Baker in Christchurch.